Cruising down the runway that welcomed back dozens of space shuttles, NASA's Gulfstream jet delivered the newest four-member crew bound for the International Space Station. Leadership from NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency welcomed the crew to Florida ahead of their planned launch on Friday, August 25th. You can probably tell from the huge smiles on our faces that we're extremely excited um, to finally be here at Kennedy Space Center and for the journey we're about to embark on. The crew will ride to the orbiting outpost on board the SpaceX Crew Dragon Endurance spacecraft. Its first flight with the Crew-3 mission in 2021 also carried two classmates of Mokbeli, Rajachari and Kayla Barron. They were the first of the so-called Turtle class, which graduated to full astronaut status in 2020. You'll be joining your Turtle crew or teammates um, on the station, Woody and Frank. What's it like continuing what Raja lovingly called the Turtle takeover? And you know, what advice did you get from your classmates that have flown and come back to Earth? I'm extremely excited to see Frank and Woody up there, and also while I'm up there to welcome and Laurel and eventually um, Matt Dominic as well. We hope to continue the turtle takeover <laughs> in space. They passed on some some of the words I've already said, but you know the big things are: don't don't forget to be in the moment, don't forget to look out the window, um, and don't forget to just take things one step at a time. The members of Crew 7 will join Expedition 70 and 71 while on station. ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen will not only take over as station commander later this year, but he's also the first member of the ESA astronaut corps to be assigned as a pilot aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon. And I'm so excited to get back up there uh, and to participate in the groundbreaking research and technology uh, development uh, that we do on board the space station. As Jasmine noted, what we do up there is for all of us here on Earth uh, and hopefully will benefit uh, our society for many, many years in the future. Mission Specialist and JAXA astronaut Satoshi Furukawa has the most experience of the crew, having previously spent 167 days on the ISS in 2011. He says the crew is more than ready for the experience, but did have a few words of wisdom. My uh, small advice was uh, right after especially right after uh, insertion, uh, just move slowly. Don't move your head abruptly. That would make you in a bad situation. The fourth crew member, Konstantin Borisov, will become just the third cosmonaut to fly aboard a commercial crew mission. He says it's hard to put his emotions into words. The training has been very intense. We traveled all the world. We enjoyed a lot of classes, lectures. And you know, every next day is training. You train again, you train again. And it's uh, so hard to imagine that soon we'll just do similar things, but it will not be training, but just in four days in the evening we wake up and we go to space. I'm, I'm very excited, really. I'm excited, I'm honored. The crew is set to blast off from Launch Complex 39A at 3.49 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday morning. For Space Flight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.